All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Tuesday, and that means that we're using Teller Knights. But we're also trying something different with the Teller Knights, hopefully. Hopefully, if we get it. So, um, of course, we know that the Star Seraphs are coming out here in uh, the TCG. So I wanted to go ahead and uh, just see how that engine is. I just wanted to go ahead and see the engine. So uh, for the engine, I am running, um, you know, the usual, the... the the three scepters and the three chairs. I don't. I don't remember the name of the chair. I don't remember the name of the chair. Hello. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, see how that works, and uh, hopefully uh, it works out fine. It's actually a new engine. So uh, temporary. I took out the um, the goldfish and the fiendish chains, and I just want to go ahead and see how this works. All right. So he's gonna go ahead and summon himself a bull. That's some bullshit. He just kind of fucking just ran my ass over like, ah, the Neb's dead. <laughs> Which is fine, you know? I want the Neb in the graveyard. You know? Wow, just Vegas and Altair. It's like, I got Tell Night plays for days as long as it goes off, you know? Like, holy crap. Just Tell Night plays for days. So we'll go ahead and summon you back. Oh, you got something? You got something. You must have something. Something's happening. We're waiting on you, man. You got something? You gonna hit me with some background? More power to you, man. If you want to. No. Alright. Now I'm gonna summon. Get my search on. Let me go ahead and... Oh, and then maybe you wanna stop my Deneb? Uh, I mean... Should've probably stopped... My... Uh, I mean, Vega... If you was... Oh, you're gonna bottomless me. Oh, so that's the reason why you didn't do what you did. Okay. Okay, I see you. That was a pain in the dick, and thank you, fucking. Okay, well. Uh. To tell you the truth, I'm thinking about activating Alpha on Altair, attacking. He, you know, he can go ahead and use the effect, doesn't matter, and then make it a little bubble chain. Yeah. I wanted to save the Alpha, I wanted to go ahead and make like a freaking. Uh, freaking Delta Rose and then equip him, but now he had the bottom list, which is annoying. Yeah, an annoying. So we'll go ahead and just make a little bubble chain and get set up. So now we gotta put the Deneb back in the graveyard because he had the bottom list. It really doesn't matter who I detach, in a sense. <sighs> so, Sovereign. Sovereign and Scepter. That's it, so. Now the problem is you gotta draw them. <laughs> so, in this opening hand, I didn't join. I just got all the Teller Knights, alright, so. Bottomless was kind of annoying, though. Not a lot of cards that can piss me off with this deck. You know, if if, if you were related to the Delta Rose, you'd been fucked. But bottom listing my Neb, that hurts. That hurts. I mean, I still get the surge. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I still get the surge, but the problem is that my freaking Deneb is gone. It's not. It's, it's it's not in the graveyard, and I need it in the graveyard. I needs it in the graveyard. Oh, I almost did that wrong. No. Yeah. I said if he would if he would have waited till my uh till my uh Delta Rossi been screwed because you know you can't do that. You know? Go ahead and get these useless ass nuclei's. At this point I'm pretty much scrapped for Telenites. No point to go into the truth. No. Delta Ross. I guess the only point would be going into the trip is because I could go ahead and uh when it's Sent to the graveyard, I'd get to go ahead. Oh, Ghost of a Garage is cute. This guy's just trying to drive me crazy in this duel. Nope. I'm a rank. <laughs> is that, um... When it gets sent to the graveyard, I could summon the Toad Knight monster from my graveyard instead of my hand or deck. Because right now, I, the, only, the only thing I got in my deck is Unukula Highs. So, Unukula Highs are fun early game. They, get you, they help get you set up. But late game, they're just... There's a butt. <laughs> um, 
Think about doing you, you, summon you, get you back, make a Delta Rose, and then XC right into a uh, uh, diamond because fuck this battle fader. You know, if he battle faders me again, that would just be annoying, so at least I'll be able to negate it. No. Now, on this card, you know, it's a good early game, but right now it's not the best. You. Yes. Oh, I, c I can't make diamond until main phase two. So, if he's gonna battle fader me, it's already too late. So, fuck it. Okay, if he's gonna battle fader me again, fuck it. Nope. Alright, you're gonna take it. Alright, then take it. I was worried about the battle fader, but. Alright, you see three. Going diamond. Only way I wouldn't have been able to do that. I mean, would have been able to do that place. I thought I wouldn't to that new te uh, Teller Knight XC monster, but it wouldn't even been worth it. Because I couldn't win to him, detach three XC materials, and put out my. But I'm talking about that card on Thursday, hello? Ugh. <laughs> oh. This card is just straight up anti Shadals. It's funny. It's I made a card that just says straight up, just fuck Shadals. So, up on resources. Oh! Your force can go fuck itself. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> a mirror force pop though. All right, let's get one more dueling. I, I want to see the star seraphs. All right, be right back. So, the star seraphs aren't going to be as dominating as they were in the OCG. You know, like in the OCG, everybody's like, "Oh shit, star seraphs telling us, oh shit, it's 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 going down." And in, in in our time meta, you know, right now, Telemites, the Telemite deck. Loves Triv. Triv, 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 Triv. Triv is the trits. Triv is the trips. So, you can't go into Triv with the Star Seraphs. You can only go into Delteros or like Ouroboros or whatever. But the one card that you can't go into is Shockmaster. <laughs> I'd say, do you want MSC? <laughs> alright, alright. Alright, yeah, I'm over you. I can draw a card. And I get the nip in the graveyard. Oh, Hermit Yuckies. Alright. Well, he's gonna get his Solemn Judgment card. That sucks. You did that. Wait, you, what are you doing? You're doing it weird. That was a weird ass play. Unless this is your Solemn Judgment card right there, because you did that. That was a weird play. I've never seen that done before like that before. Alright, well, if this is the Solemn Judgment card, then I will get it, because he does have a Hermit Yokai monster on the field, so. But I can't get rid of that monster without over committing. So, hey, if you got it, you got it. You got it? Wish I had like a call to hunt and some revival in this duel right now. Dude, if you have it, you better use it now because it's not going to be that useful later. You have to use it now. Use it now. Get in the chopper, use it now. Wow. Alright. <clears throat> alright, alright, alright. Oh, bottomless again. What the fuck? What? I, how, uh, how do I keep getting fucking bottomless? I swear. <laughs> like, hello? Is it me? It must be me. How the fuck do I keep the, a number generator? You want to give them a different card? Like, pot, reveal the compulse, but I got the bottom list? Like, number generator. Number generator. Come on now. Calm down. You're not fucking giving me soul charge out the ass, so, you know, number generator. Should I know you? Yeah, I'll know you. Yep. 
That way you burn your Hermit Yokai monster and you don't get your normal summon. <sighs> I wish Vega could summon Vega. Well, I can go Vega, summon Neb, and then XC into whoever, but you know, does it really matter? Not really. Might be better just to take the duel slow and just summon Deneb. Ah. I can summon Vega, summon Deneb, attack, attack. How many counters do you have? Oh, make a Castell. Yep, that's what I'll do. And put that shit back. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Sounds like a fine plan, Daniel. You are smart. <laughs> yep. Seriously, if my Deneb gets bottomless in this video one more fucking time. <laughs> like, seriously, I keep getting bottomless. <laughs> poor, poor, my poor little Deneb. Cast down. Not until I get one to them there, but I get to go ahead and put your shrine back in your deck. No fucking summoning gate more counters. Fuck you. I'll go ahead and set the call the haunted, then my turn. There we go. Still, no Sarah. No Star Sarahs. Hello? Alright, hopefully we'll get a next duel. Be right back. Alright, let's try this one more time. I, I really, I, I want to see, I want to see him. I want to, okay, I don't get him. <laughs> Alright, oh, this isn't the best of hands. I'm normal summon you. I'll set this, because this can go ahead and give me my Deneb and get me right back. Like, this card is really nice early game to help with consistency. And you know how I am, I'm all about that consistency. Alright, pot, reveal, Nichiria? That was Server Sentinel, but I'm not going to pop your back row. I'm going to play that right now. Uh, I have really not seen much Nichiria, so this should be an interesting duel, to say the least. Oh, I got Nukolai. Alright, cool. Then I can summon Nukolai. Nukolai drop the Neb, activate Skybridge, put Nukolai back in the deck, summon Altair, Altair, summon the Neb, search. XC into Deltaros. Yeah, that seems like a totally chill plan. And I think they have some one that's like going to destroy my battle or something, so I'm probably not even going to try to go back to him. I'm just going to take dual slow. So you go back. And summon me an Altair. And then Altair, you go off. And you summon me Deneb. And Deneb, you get to search. Go ahead and search me for a Vega because I have a uh, Warrior Returning Life. Then go into Deltaros. That was a pretty good play right there. Uh, who knew drawing that Unukula High would have been good? Uh, ooh! Unukula High. I'm getting high off Unukula High right now. Pop that. Okay, it just says by battle, by card effect or whatever. I thought it was just by battle. So he's gonna get some more delicious cherries. Alright, go ahead and equip you with Alpha. One of the most very powerful quotes spell. I love Alpha. Yeah. Probably the only Tyranite player who loves Alpha. I, th I think it's a badass quote spell. Plus 500 and then I'm unaffected by everything my opponent does. Like, monster effects, spells, traps. Like, no. Alpha. Like, whoo! Love Alpha. Pot. Alright, you're not playing on special summoning. Creature swap. That stuff. All right, you're definitely gonna grab the creature slot, but then you're gonna realize that I'm unaffected. Yeah, you're gonna fuck up. All right, I'm completely unaffected by your creature slot, so you're pretty much just gonna waste your card. No, no, no. All right, maybe you're not completely an idiot. All right, I was kind of worried you were gonna do that, so it's a good thing that you didn't. I got the chair. I got the chair. What? Wait. Hello. Okay. You saw that for like a second there. I said a nuclear high, like a parenthesis under it. All right. Got sovereign. So all I need is a scepter, and I should be ready to go. That's all I need. All right. I mean, I know that's a cherries, and I know if I pop it, it's not going to be anything bad. So.
Alright, so this card is this card says okay, I don't know if I'm wrong, you can only you can only use one of the following cards in hand, so we're trying to attribute one plant. So attributing a plant to get an insect to summon an insect. Okay. Level four lower earth insect type monster from your deck. Okay. Wow, what? Five seconds of that? I guess. How about you, Sandra? Tell you the truth, you really, if you're gonna go ahead and MST me, you really should have got rid of that, uh, really gotten rid of my alpha, because my alpha is literally like the bane of your existence right now. Yeah, you can't even creature slot me right now, so. What did you search with, uh, with your Trina? Marmon, this guy. This card's known someone you can sell in turn once you're trying to get a red chain to target two monsters. You're gonna shuffle this back and draw a card. Okay. So I guess you're gonna go ahead and summon him and then shuffle two back and draw a card. And you're keeping up with resources, you know. Usually people when they do against Telonites and the Telonites are being, you know, nice and powerful and aggressive, they just get completely out resourced. Oh, then you gotta summon it back, pop lane, you know what? Alright. Well, Trap Tricks, I still hate you. <laughs> I absolutely still hate you. There's no doubt about that. Most definitely still hate Trap Tricks. That's good to know. <laughs> I don't like Trap Tricks at all. I, I, I don't like grabbing a bottom list. I don't like that. I don't like the Dianera. And the, I don't like none of it. Like, none of it. <laughs> Uh no, so there goes my fucking uh my goddamn alpha. Really wanted that. Bottomless again! What the fuck? Why do my opponents keep getting bottomless? Like this is bottomless dot fucking duel right now. Like what in the living fuck? Why do my opponent keep on getting goddamn bottomless? I knew as soon as I summoned out tire, I'm like, is it bottomless? Is it bottomless? 101 you. Shit. 101 you're 101. What the fuck? All three duels. Like, what the fuck? Bottomless, 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 bottomless. What the fuck? What the fuck? What in the living fuck is going on? I can't even do damage to you. Bionera again? Did you just get straight up to it? No, you're gonna summon Mon this time. Alright, and you return those two. Shuffle draw a card. It's done a pretty good job of keeping up reach start uh and snatch down. Ah, uh, fuck this number generator. Oh my god. I swear to god, this guy's driving me crazy. This fucking number generator. Alright, well, I'm gonna get my 101 back and then you should try to creature swap me. Like, seriously. Bomb with Snatch Steel? Like, Snatch Steel's still busted. Like, there is no. There is no. Oh, maybe I'm in the. No, it's busted. I mean, nope. Nope. I mean, the number generator. I mean, the number generation of these online. These, uh, things that we play online. Nope. Nope. I the generation. Uh, I mean, in a sense. In a sense. Yes. It's not shuffle. It's not shuffle. Uh. uh actually, a calculated set of randomizer that is increased to see cards at one. That's that's the simplest way to explain it. I'm going to go into another Delta Rouse. 
I will admit that you did get your cards down. Uh, uh, some. Okay. Well, that's literally just annoying. So, if you creature stop me, I will give you one on one. Like, literally, snatch the creature stop. Like, nigga, keep your own shit. I hate, I hate, I hate monster taking. It's probably one of those things I hate most in Yu Gi Oh! You know? I hate mind control, I hate snap steel, I hate creature soft, I hate it all, I hate fucking the fucking um uh what's that fucking shit? That fucking uh the fucking TG trap card, like use your own shit. <laughs> Alucard. Fuck is Alucard gonna do? I don't have any set cards. Oh, Broke Charge, okay. <sighs> broke Charge too, huh? Broke Charge, Snatch Steal, all the busted cards, all the broken cards. <laughs> all of them. Snatch Steal, Soul Charge, you got Regeki too? All of them. Giant Hand. Wait, doesn't that card go away? I thought the bottomless got banished. I guess the monster's not in the field to resolve that effect, I'm assuming. Oh, I really don't have to worry about much of anything. I mean, fuck the cherries, that sucks, but... Odds that. A giant hand can't stop me from summoning. He can stop me from activating my effect, though. Trying to debate on what I want to do. It might be better just to go ahead and just. It might be better to just go ahead and have Deltaros attack and then have uh, and then have him blow up something. That might be best. Yeah. Take the duel slow. I'm still okay in this duel. Just this duel's pissing me off. Get rid of your fucking six hundred dollar fucking Yu Gi Oh seven hundred dollar fucking Yu Gi Oh card. The uh, Alucard's not really a threat. Neither is the one on one. The bottom list is kind of annoying, so I guess I'll go ahead and get rid of that. Do you have to have Xeon materials? Was card simple? No, you don't even have to have Xeon materials. So I literally I could just go summon Altair and then Altair can summon Deltaros. Yeah, that seems chill. Yes. Yes. Uh... No. No. This guy's trying to drive me crazy. He's doing a pretty good job at it. <laughs> the Deneb, so... I can summon the Vega, summon the Deneb. Do I have anything else to search with, though? No, I'm all out of every, pretty much everything. In a sense. I'll just go into another Deltaros. Again. Well, how many Deltaros do I have? I have one more Deltaros left, right? Yeah, one more Deltaros, good. Whew! Good. I need Deltaros. 
So we'll go Bega, Bega. Alright, you're just gonna summon that fucking piece of weed. That's fine. Summon the nab. I'm a lot of searches. Okay, well, that's good to know. Should I go for Triv? Triv can summon a monster from my graveyard, right? Yeah, it's better to go for Triv. Death Thrust won't even really have anything. Yeah, we'll go for Triv. Wish I had one more fucking Vega, but besides that, we're okay. So I know one card in your hand. Oh, there's Nova. Put that out of your hand, because you don't you won't be needing that. The question is, should I summon this? Yes, I should summon this. No. Oh right, you said it's Teller Knight card. I'm like well, I'm like, aren't I out of Teller Knight monsters and stuff? Yep, and then the cherries will go. Cherries, cherries! She only have one though. Alright, this door should be over. I should win. I should win. This should be it. I should win. You're out of resources. You're out of plays. I have a Solemn Judgment. You have a Night Beam. Okay. That's what your set card was. I guess. Yeah, I'll play that. Yeah, that's pretty much. GG. Ah, that was an annoying door. It's incredibly annoying. Like, holy shit. Sure. And we didn't even use the fucking Star Seraphs. God, what? I drew one, one. If I would've drew Scepter, I could've, you know, I could've went. Summon Scepter, search, reveal, summon, draw, summon, draw, X seat, but no, never fucking drew the scepter. Like, what the fuck? Like, I wanted to use Star Seraphs. That's the whole point of this video. That was the whole point of experimenting with this deck today was to see the Star Seraph engine. And you know, I looked up a line. It's literally just three scepters, three sovereign, three scepters, three sovereign. Three... I was like, you don't even run the one that allows you to like when it's summoned, you special summon one from your hand. You don't run that, no. Just th just those six cards. All right, let's see it. And I didn't even fucking get it. All I did was fucking draw into a fucking Star Seraph Sovereign, and it just sat in my head, in my hand. I literally fucking like, oh, Star Seraph Sovereign, let me go ahead and just set that up and sit down in it. Let me just sit in this fucking recliner. This, uh, it's, not, it's not even a recliner, it's more like a lawn chair, but seriously. And just sit on it, because I didn't even get to utilize it. Ah, uh, whatever. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and call this the video. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support. Hopefully next Tuesday we can go ahead and use fucking Star Seraphs. Alright guys, thanks for watching.